This is the EM5 Mark III and it sits firmly in the middle of Olympus's award-winning range of mirrorless cameras. Hi there, hope you're really well. I'm Quet for Olympus and I'm here to give you a quick first look at the EM5 Mark III. As our high-performance compact model, there's a few important changes for the newest EM5 that will make your shooting experience even better. So let's take a close look and see the latest addition to the EM5 line. So let's start with what's on the inside. Major technological strides have been taken by taking the best from Olympus's EM1 series of cameras and re-engineering them to fit inside the form factor of an EM5. The Mark III increases its resolution to 20 million pixels that's paired to the Trupic 8 processor. And in the first for the EM5 line, you're seeing Olympus's 121-point dual-fast on-sensor phase detection autofocusing system taken from the EM1 line. However, to fit this IS unit into the EM5, Olympus needed to re-engineer the IS system and make it 40% smaller. So not only are you getting a flagship sensor and processor, but you're also getting the efficacy of a flagship stabilizer for your stills and videos. Speaking of videos, the EM5 Mark III captures up to cinema 4K resolutions. It can also capture high-speed slow-motion videos up to 120 frames per second in Full HD. So, we've covered the hardware, let's talk about the body. Being an EM5 series camera, it's weather sealed, so it's dustproof, splashproof, and freezeproof compared to the Mark II. The Mark III feels more secure thanks to a deeper front grip and a larger thumb rest. The mode dial has changed to the right hand side, and there's now a dedicated custom and bulb mode. Whilst the EM5 Mark III retains the articulating touchscreen, there's been changes to the viewfinder. The EM5 Mark III utilizes a 2.4 million dot OLED viewfinder, but this time it's got a 27 millimeter eye point. So for people with glasses, it's easy to see the entire viewfinder. Also in a first for the EM5 line, the camera also gets internal USB charging. So if you're out and about running low on battery, you can plug the camera into a USB power bank to make sure you're shooting all day. From a features point of view, tripod high resolution mode gets a resolution bump to 50 megapixel JPEGs and 80 megapixel RAWs. Whilst for the first time in the EM5 series, you're seeing Olympus's Pro Capture feature from the EM1 series of cameras, a mode that allows you to capture the precise moment of your photograph, even if your timing is a little bit off. So there you have it, the EM5 Mark III. It's lightweight and compact, it's weather sealed, it's stabilized. It has the Olympus's phase detection autofocusing system. The body has been reconfigured while ergonomic improvements ensure that the EM5 Mark III is simply the best camera to take around with you everywhere. So that's it, that's all from me and the EM5 Mark III. I'm Quet Lai for Olympus. We'll catch you all real soon. Until then, bye for now. Every spring, thousands of music fans flock to Coachella to see their favorite acts perform under the California sun. But that's not why we're here. We came south for something much more interesting. Jet Jam 2020. Jet Jam is an annual gathering of remote control jet plane enthusiasts who bring their high-powered RC planes to a small airstrip near Coachella to show off their skills and mix with fellow pilots and aviation enthusiasts. We are joined by adventure photographer Scott Rinkenberger, call sign The Rink, and the new Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III, call sign The Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III. Okay, Scott. We're in Coachella. Yes, we are. <laughs> what are we here to do? Well, we're here at the 2020 Jet Jam. Very important gathering for the RC jet plane community. Well, there's 60 jets here, we've been told. 60 jets? Yeah, 60 jets, two days. And these things are, are big, they're detailed, they're fast, they're noisy. I love the smell of jet fuel in the morning. And we have the Olympus EM1 Mark III. This is the weapon of choice uh, for this event. Yep. I mean, you've, you've used the Olympus system a lot. What are you looking forward to most about shooting with this? You know, I got interested in the Olympus system a long time ago when they first kind of launched the Micro Four Thirds platform and the size of glass and the reach of the glass is incredible. It's so much more user-friendly in terms of lugging it around all day. Like the planes at Jet Jam, the 20 megapixel OMD EM1 Mark III is small, powerful, and very fast. It can shoot at up to 60 frames per second with focus locked, and up to 18 frames per second with AF tracking. 
Unlike the planes at Jet Jam, the EM-1 Mark III is also very tough and sealed against dust and moisture. In-body stabilization can deliver up to seven and a half stops of vibration correction. A new handheld high-res shot mode uses the stabilization system to create 50 megapixel images in camera without the need for a tripod. As well as stills, the EM-1 Mark III can also capture detailed 4K footage. In fact, everything you'll see in this video was shot and filmed, handheld, on the EM-1 Mark III. Yeah, I'm watching a pretty dynamic scene unfold here, so yeah. we're going to have our hands full trying to keep, uh, keep the lenses tracking. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be tricky just keeping these things in the frame, but we'll find out. Indeed. Welcome to the danger zone. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> With something like this where, you know, I'm not deeply versed in the culture of RC jet flying at all, I'm kind of looking at this with the eye of a, of a student of the culture, first and foremost. Oh no, it's a, it's a Cutlass, I think. Oldsmobile? Actually a Grumman Cougar, not a Cutlass. It's a totally different plane. I'm so embarrassed. As far as photographing the jets themselves, it's just going to be to find interesting ways to get them into context in the, in the landscape. When they do get into the part of the landscape that I'm trying to actually compose them into, I'm already tracking their focus. I've already got a bead on them effectively. 2005, six. There are no pilots in the planes, which means the planes can move extremely erratically. You sort of forget you're looking at a model until it right. takes off and then immediately goes up to 200 feet. Right. United States, we can only fly at a maximum speed of 200 miles an hour. So this does 200 plus. I'm sure it does. It looks yeah, like it does. It's, it's a fun airplane. When you get to spend six months building it and see it fly, it, 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 it's a lot of fun. It's great. So how many of these do you have in to like total? What's your garage look like? 68 jets. Wow. Do you have a hangar for them? Or I have a big workshop. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have a lot of aircraft. Big maneuver, show center. You know, the most effective lens we've got with us is this 300 millimeter lens. The cool thing about the Micro Four Thirds platform is it's got a 2x crop factor, and so that makes this an equivalency of a 600 millimeter lens, you know, all in about the size of what conventionally might be like a 200. So the lens has IS built into it, the sensor is stabilized on this camera, and the combination of the two is supposed to give you 7.5 stops of, of latitude in stabilization to shoot a 600 lens on something like this, you'd have to be using tripods. And it makes it totally feasible to walk around handheld and have a really high success rate. That felt good to me, that felt good right there. Day two started early, with the moon still high over the San Jacinto Mountains. Let's go handheld high res on the moon here with the uh the 300. That's moontastic. This is an F100 Super Saber. Uh, a big one, <laughs> a really big one. Uh, but a lot of the uh, finesse of the airplane comes from the markings and uh, how it has a little bit of a weathered look, like it's been sitting outside for a few years. And I think that's what gives it the real touch. Good luck. Thank you. No, it's good luck to the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck. Good luck. You're, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Yee-hoo! <laughs> What's really funny is how similar the focus tracking looks to like the missile tracking systems in a fighter jet, as far as I understand it from the movies. So you can kind of pretend a little bit like you're in a little dogfight here. Weapons lock. Firing. Great shot. At the end of Jet Jam, awards are given out to pilots and planes in various categories. Well, thank you everybody, that's awesome. Best equipment installed inside the aircraft. The most neatly done. Winning. Congratulations. Woo! Beautiful, thank you. With Jet Jam 2020 nearing an end, Scott wanted to get one more picture. I'm gonna get the shot of the day right now. Feeling it, feeling it. Sundown, layers of mountains, American flag and a jet plane right through the scene. So 
pretty happy to have uh, at least one version of that in the can right now. What a great place. Well, that's all for Jet Jam 2020, but I'm already looking forward to next year. Awesome, thank you. For DP Review, I'm Barney Britton.